I haven't been this excited and smitten to bring home a bag with me since purchasing my Chanel white classic flap and this might actually top it. I mean, have you seen something more precious and gorgeous as this? Oh my gosh, like I cannot stop staring at it. Hello and welcome. My name is Amy if you're new here and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please excuse the state of my hair right now. I'm in the process of growing it out and it's just not looking great. It's in that weird in between length that I literally don't know how to style. So it's going to just get thrown up in a bun. If you're into fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel, handbags, hauls, all that good stuff, definitely go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you in our little corner of the internet. Mm, love some coffee, oh my gosh. I have been keeping up with my 6 a.m. morning routine. Guys, I know, I tried to do the 5.30 a.m. morning routine and it's not working out. Six o'clock is like the sweet spot. I always start off with a good hot cup of black coffee and it's just hitting the spot right now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this exciting video. Oh my gosh, I haven't been this excited to introduce a bag on my channel since my Chanel white classic flap. I'm not even joking, not even over exaggerating. I am truly that excited. <laughs> if you're familiar with my channel, you already know how my bag reviews go. I'm gonna give you mod shots. I'm also going to demo what fits in the bag by taking my stuff out, show you all the strap options, the packaging and everything like that. So let's jump right in. In terms of the packaging, this is what I brought home with me after my trip to Dior. In case you're curious and you're in the DMV area, I buy most of my handbags and other designer goods from Tyson's Gallery and that is a really big luxury shopping mall that we have around you know this location and it just has like luxury store back to back it's great but it's also dangerous so i bought it there and i love my essay he is just the sweetest person ever i feel like we're friends now. We kind of text each other about like non-Dior things now too, which is awesome. I love when you have a very special relationship with your essay because you have similar personalities and hobbies and obviously interests. He always makes sure to package everything so, so nicely and hold items for me if he can. And this was one of those products where I had my eye on for a very long time, but didn't bite the bullet because it is very expensive. And I just kept on hearing a lot of people talk about it online not in the most positive way because they say that it's not really a classic Dior might get rid of this style soon so resale value might not be that great a lot of people say get the small lady Dior instead if you're going to spend this much money on a half bag because you know the DJOY oh sorry if you didn't get it from the title or the thumbnail that's the bag that we're talking about today it's the Dior lady Dior small lady dior wait hold on dior small lady d joy in lambskin in the color biscuit but anyway i was talking about the packaging and my essay but anyway oh mm, okay sorry add really kicking in today before i show you the full packaging and everything let me just go ahead and finish up my story of why i decided to purchase this bag even if i heard so many people say that either they regret it or they don't recommend it he just expressed to me that it might not be a part of their permanent collection so that might change my mind about purchasing this because some people do care about that but obviously it didn't stop me and i still purchased it because i for some reason saw this bag and couldn't get it out of my mind. And I think that's when you know that a bag is for you, even if it not, might not be favorable to other people or it might not be the perfect bag for someone else. It's all personal preference. And I just feel like this fits my aesthetic, my style, it fits everything that I love about a fancy evening dinner out bag. This is just, perfection to me. <laughs> I think the true test to how much I wanted this bag was when this went out of stock on their website. I started freaking out because this has been on my wish list on my phone for months and I would stock this on their website I wanna say at least two to three times a month. I was holding off because of the price, obviously. It retails for $4,900, which is it's very painful to think about. But the fact that I was checking it multiple times every single month since I had it on my wish list. And the fact that when it went out of stock, I started freaking out internally. I was like, oh my gosh, I should have bought the bag. I instantly had regrets about not purchasing the bag, which was basically my trigger 
to go to the store and see if they have it in store available. And unfortunately they didn't, but I asked my SA and he was such a doll and he checked the warehouse inventory and everything. And he was able to order it for me and get it shipped to the store without me even paying for it yet because he was like, okay, I don't want you to have to pay for it until you see it, especially because I didn't see this bag in this particular color in person yet. So he was like, okay, let's just, I'm gonna see if I can order it without you having to reserve it or pay for it or whatever. So I'll contact you when I get it in the store. So that's what happened. Long story short, they got the bag in. It was missing a strap because this was a bag that was coming from a store in California and somewhere in between the transit, one of the straps got lost. If you don't know already, the DJOY comes with two strap options that are removable in addition to the top handle that it already comes with attached to the bag, which is, I think, is the huge selling point about getting this bag. The versatility that it gives because of the myriad of strap options that you have is just amazing. Anywho, so that happened. I came into the store thinking that I was going to take home the bag and he was like, well, this is embarrassing. There's a strap missing and I don't know where it is because the store in California seemed to have never sent it to us. It was never in the package. So I was like, oh, okay, no worries. I was getting a little bit worried to be honest because I was afraid that the stock you know, was very low and I was wondering if I could even get my hands on another one, but he was able to find one in the warehouse, like a brand new one and he ordered it for me. I just purchased it right then and there because I was able to like feel the bag, look at the color in person and everything because the bag itself, like the body of it was there. Needless to say, I fell in love when I saw it in person and decided to just bite the bullet, buy the bag because I didn't want to regret it again by not buying it when I have the chance. I got shipped to the store and my SA made sure that he did like a quality assurance check before he asked me to come in to pick up the bag. So for the second time, I went in and got the bag. This is the packaging that I received. It's just the classic Dior packaging. I love the white and gold. It came in a decent sized box right here. And obviously I already unboxed it and everything, but just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is the box and it came with a dust bag, all neatly packaged and everything. Look how tiny this dust bag looks like though. It looks like a little toy. It is a small bag, so it has a small dust bag. Obviously it comes with your receipt and everything. Also, this is a little bit of a bonus. Look at this. Okay, so I have this massive bag for a different item that I actually got for free on my birthday from Dior. So this is a little bit of a bonus content. I, you know, whether or you like it or not, but I obviously have timestamps on all of my videos for this reason. So if you don't want to see what I got as a little gift from Dior for my birthday, that was in April, you can skip to a different part, but I did want to show you guys this because how sweet is that gesture from Dior? I mean, I don't know if Everyone gets this who is part of the Dior clientele system or if there is like a quota or a spend that you have to have with Dior to qualify to get a gift, but I don't know. I bought two bags from Dior so far. You guys already know that I got a mini Lady Dior in the patent black leather as a birthday gift to myself. I bought that in March. So I do have a decent spent in Dior so far. So my essay gave me this for my birthday or Dior gave it to me for my birthday. And it is, I haven't even opened it yet guys. And it's already June, July. It is a tote bag. It's from their 2024 cruise collection. So it looks like this. I am so grateful that they were able to give me a tote bag for my birthday. It is very cute and chic. The quality is also really nice. It's actually super thick and it has the Christian Dior tag on the inside. Oh my God, it smells like their perfume. The colors, I'm a little unsure how to style this because these colors are not typically the colors that I normally wear in my wardrobe, but I think it would be nice in the summer with like a bikini or something like that. But the back is very interesting. It has like a giant butterfly in this kind of berry burgundy color. And yeah, so this is what I got for my birthday from Dior, which is very, very nice. 
Finally, let's go ahead and discuss the product features of this bag. Like I said, this is the small Lady D Joy in lambskin leather in the color Biscuit. I have seen on the website that this would go in and out of stock. So if you are interested, definitely get your hands on it because I am so, so in love with this bag. I highly recommend it if this is like your type of tea. Obviously it has to work with your lifestyle and the purpose that you want to give to the bag. But for me, for the purpose that I have for this bag, it is literal perfection. Dior leather, I feel is top notch. The quality is amazing. It has a really nice feel. It's supple, soft. Obviously lambskin is delicate, don't get me wrong. I don't think this is going to age the most gracefully, but considering the fact that it is such a delicate leather in nature, because of the size and design of this bag, I really don't think that it's going to be as noticeable as some people might think it would. It has this beautiful kind of light champagne-y gold color, not as silvery as the champagne gold in Chanel. This definitely has a little bit more of a yellow tint, but nothing super strong where it strikes as antique gold or anything. It is a very, very light gold color, which I absolutely love. This is the bottom of the bag. It doesn't have any feet or anything because it is a mini bag. In the front, it has the classic Dior charms. On the back, it doesn't have anything here. Same thing with the flap to open and close the bag. It has the magnetic closure and inside is this really beautiful suede material. It has one inner pocket that is not zippered. It's just an open pocket and it doesn't have any dividers or anything. This is a close up of the bag. Look how beautiful the hardware and leather are. It's so, so pretty and it's very squishy and soft. As previously mentioned, it does come with two separate strap options, which I think is just a huge bonus to purchasing this bag. It comes with a short little chain shoulder strap that can be attached to the bag to make it obviously into a shoulder bag, which I will demonstrate and show you in my mod shots. And then we also have a longer, adjustable crossbody strap, which is also a huge selling point because the mini Lady Dior's come with a crossbody strap that's not adjustable, which is honestly like something that I really dislike about the mini Lady Dior. In hindsight, I still love that back to death, don't get me wrong, but it's something that I feel could be improved upon in their design for that bag. So I love the fact that this one is adjustable and it fits my frame perfectly. The strap of the mini Lady Dior, it's a little bit too long on me still, but this strap is super high quality. It's really thick. The shoulder strap is on the thinner side but both of them work really well because the bag itself is fairly small, so it doesn't need a lot of weight distribution or anything like that. So I think these straps are perfect the way that they are. I know I was talking a little bit about the purpose of this bag. So I personally feel that this bag would be great for you if you have a similar lifestyle as me where you are not buying this bag to be your everyday bag. I would be so scared to use this as my everyday bag, especially with the lambskin situation. So I, I don't know. I specifically bought this bag because I wanted a really beautiful, gorgeous, dressed up formal bag that is relatively on the smaller side so that I can wear it in the evenings or on date nights or fancy dinners, things like that. I absolutely adore this color biscuit. I wish that it was a permanent color, but it doesn't seem like it is. I personally think this is the perfect shade of a neutral kind of beige color. It doesn't pull too warm or too cool, so it goes with every single look that I have in my wardrobe. I love the fact that if I did want to be hands-free, I can and fit my phone in here as well, even if the capacity overall is tiny. It is a huge plus that I can still fit my phone. If you have been eyeing the DJOY and people have been steering you clear of it because of, I don't know, a vast variety of reasons that I've heard on the internet already that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I would like to encourage you to just go in the store and try it out and Think about all the ways that you would wear this. This type of bag 
definitely wouldn't have the highest cost per wear. But I think as long as you are going in knowing that and that you have a specific purpose for this bag, then I would honestly definitely consider it and don't let other people scare you away from the bag because they think it's not super timeless or it's not a really great investment piece, which might be all valid points to be honest with you. But for me, I'm not buying bags with the intent of selling it later down the road. I'm really buying the bag because I absolutely love it. I really don't care that much about trends. I am not worried about resale value because I'm personally not going to try to resell it. I might, you never know. I might grow out of the bag, who knows, like in five, 10 years from now, it might not be my style anymore. Then at that point, then yes, of course I would sell it if I'm not getting the use out of it and put that money somewhere else in a bag that I will enjoy at that time and place. But I just don't understand all the negative things that people have to say about the Lady DJoy. I think it is absolutely stunning and I get it. It is like a half bag because it is an East West type of orientation bag. That said, I personally love East West styles. It works really well on my petite frame. I think it looks really chic and proportionate, if that makes sense, against my body. All that to say, don't let other people's opinions about this bag scare you from making the purchase if you feel personally yourself that you love this bag, you love this style, you, you are going to get use out of it. And if you're not super concerned about like the investment portion of it, then I definitely encourage you to check it out at your local Dior. Let's jump into the mod shots because I feel like that's pretty important. So like I said, I love the way that this bag looks against my body because size wise, it is so, so cute. This is what it looks like right against my body when I hold it with the top handle. This is where it lands on me and side view here. Even with this type of outfit, I know it's a bit casual, but it really dresses things up, makes it look really stylish and chic. This is definitely a hand carry type of situation because I cannot comfortably fit, I mean, I can, you can see that it goes in, but it's definitely not comfortable. So if I don't have any of the additional straps on, I would just carry it like this with my hands. Next, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the shoulder strap attached. So as you can see on the sides of the bag, there is a hook on both sides. It's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that on. So I will say when you do have the extra strap on here, the handles do flop down. You can flop both of them down to its sides like this, or I mean, yeah, I think that's really the only way that you can wear this comfortably. But now it is a cute little shoulder bag. And this is what the bag looks like on. I really love the fact that they mixed in the chain because it does make it a little bit more dressy in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and put on the crossbody strap. I have it in the very shortest setting and that I feel works the best for me. If I'm going to be wearing this bag in the summer over larger coats, then I would probably take it down two settings to make the strap a little bit longer. But for the demo right now, I have it on the shortest setting and this is where it falls on me. It hits me right where I want it to, which is right kind of on my hip bone. That's typically where I would want all of my bags to fall because I don't like when the drop is too low and it hits like my thighs. It's super uncomfortable when I'm walking, it gets in the way. And I also feel like it makes me look even shorter. So this is like the perfect length for me. Let me know in the comments which strap option you prefer the best. I feel like the shoulder strap is just so classy, but the crossbody strap is so functional and practical for me, for my lifestyle, because I love being hands-free and when I put shoulder bags on, sometimes they fall off. I'm not sure if it's because I have like not the most broad shoulders or like the shape of my shoulders or something, but they slip off, which is sometimes annoying when I'm shopping or when I'm like moving around a lot. So a crossbody strap is definitely a must for me, especially when I'm on the go and out and about and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Now let's go ahead and jump into the demo where I show you everything that I can fit in this bag. 
Okay, so this is what the bag looks like from a top-down view and sorry about the shadows You can see me playing with my fingers here <laughs> I have the lighting situation uh, With my artificial lights above and it's casting a shadow. So sorry about that if it's distracting This is what the top of the bag looks like Obviously the handles do stay up if you level it properly and if it's on a flat leveled surface But obviously I wouldn't bank on that. It does like topple over very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the things that I was able to fit in here so you can see exactly what I was able to Tetris in. It is a pretty small bag so just keep that in mind. It does fit my iPhone 15 Pro Max so I have the biggest Apple phone <laughs> that you could possibly get and it does fit in here. It just takes up a little bit of capacity so I'm not able to use the, any, any extra space for anything else. Like if I wanted to fit more things in here, I probably wouldn't have my phone inside this bag. I would just carry it with me or I would put it in the, you know, in my pocket and carry it around like that. But let's go ahead and dive right in. This is the flap uh, opening and closer, closure and it has these two magnetic pieces here so that it does secure the bag, you know, more or less. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And this part is actually really soft because it is lambskin and it's a lot softer and flexible than my patent leather Dior that I have. It's like the mini Lady Dior, but this one is a lot softer. I don't have my wallet in here because first off, I only carry a ID holder or like a little card holder. So it's pretty slim, but I still didn't put this in here. If I were to actually take this bag out with me, I would take out the cards that I need and then put it in this back pocket right here so that it doesn't take up any more room than it needs to and I would just leave my wallet at home to be honest. So in this pocket, on that note, I do have a shout, what is this called, wipe and go. I do have my keys in here. The keys are kind of a weird situation. So I have an air tag on it. My keys aren't like the bulkiest thing in the world, but you know, it takes up a bit of space because of this fob, but I was able to fit this in here. I just kind of have to like wiggle it around so that it fits kind of nested well inside. I'm gonna take that out. I have my phone, let me take this out. So yep, it does fit in there, but as you saw, it took up a lot of space. So I'm gonna take this out, put that to the side. I also have my uh, sunscreen with me. This is a Cadence traveling case. So it can hold liquids and things like that. It's leak proof. Also to the side right here, this is my carry, what is this called? Carry Atelier bag holder. So what this is, is it holds my bags on tabletops. So I have this with me. It's just, it opens up, let me see if I can do it. I actually have never used it. I recently got it, but basically you can put this on top of a tabletop like this and hook your bag onto this in case you don't want to put your bag on the tabletop or you don't wanna carry it on your lap or anything in the restaurant and they don't have a bag hook or anything like that. What else is in here? I have my lip balm or lip conditioner. I also have the lip color that I'll be wearing for that day. And last but not least, I have a little thingamajig of hand sanitizer. I'm not sure if you saw my last kind of like in-depth review video on a handbag, but I used to carry this giant hand sanitizer with me, but I finally depotted it into this little travel container. And that's the last item. That's everything. Oh, actually here we have a cough drop. <laughs> Now that is everything. So you can see that it's totally empty. That's everything that fits in here. I don't think I could fit anything else, to be honest, without the worry that it's going to mess up the interior of the bag. So I would stop there for sure. Like I said at the beginning, if I wanted to carry more stuff with me, I would just take out my phone and then try to Tetris more things in there. If I take out my phone, I could probably fit like a pair of sunglasses. Definitely, I could bring my card holder with me as well. But yeah, that's 
basically what the capacity is like for the DJOY. Now that we've reached the end of this video, definitely go ahead and check out my luxury handbag collection video. I posted that a couple months ago and I think it'll give you a good overview of everything that I have. If you're curious about my preferences and styles of bags that I already have in my closet. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.